Here we are. Um, still stuck. So we're making some stuff, and we set up our uh, our apartment. It's such a fucking mess. But yeah, we set up our welder. Cool, yeah, it's because Mark never cleans. Never. I just throw things around. I'm it's true though. It. It's true. And unless I start the clean, he'll never clean by himself. But anyway, be that as it may. No, he's, yeah. Thought you were gonna cut down on smoking. Going to on stress. camera, yeah, on camera, yeah. Stress. Everyone, see, there's always an excuse. Not even, not even with the door open. What a piece of shit. It's because of you. Tell me to close the door, then you tell me to open the door. It's because of you that our life sucks. Yeah, all me. So, I'm the one that got us stuck. Whatever welder set up, it's not even set up, it's not even plugged in. It's Mark's an 88. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, so we're still stuck, so we have our home office here, our back balcony. Our gay lord landlord is downstairs uh, in protest. And anyway, yeah, we're making some shit. Uh, we're going to try to make our own traction aid again, because the first one that we made didn't work. So the second one, we try to plug our welder back here behind the stove. There is so much grease on the plug. <laughs> it's fucking filthy, eh, Mark? Disgusting. I rubbed my hand on it like you see, and you know, like when they do in the movies on hotels and they sweep their hand and you know, this. Dude, it's like engine grease. Yeah, it, it, it stuck there, I, it wouldn't come off. Yeah, it's it like axle grease. Off, and I even go down to the bottom. Yeah, so we have our little home welder set up, and uh, we're gonna weld those pieces of angle iron, hopefully, welding in the snow on our back balcony. Because, uh, anyway, it's a long story, there's a lot of becauses. So this is not our finest moment, <laughs> but it's moments like these that we live off in. But this is a shit no one else will show you, and this yeah. is what everybody will go through yeah. at some point if you're starting for yourself and doing shit yourself. Let's give you an example, yeah, so there's some brake fluid there with a little siphon kit that we bought for 200 bucks. Doesn't fucking work though, not in the cold anyway. There's some welding here, with this generator. Welding helmets. That garbage can used to hold 500 kilograms of welding wire, by the way. Nobody knows how much that is because they're fucking stupid, but yeah, it's from the place I used to work. And uh, yeah, we have a lot of other garbage all over the place. Our chainsaw is on the floor, not garbage. There's our farm jack because we were using it yesterday. Our climbing shit. It's a fucking mess. You know, we're, we're gonna clean it though. It doesn't, it's not like that bad to clean. Another grinding station. There's a little work table, but uh, I'm not showing you the coffee table because that's just the worst. But anyway, that's what we're doing today. So uh, we tried, yeah, for five hours, eh, yesterday to get unstuck. Six, six hours, unsuccessful. What are you doing? What are you turning a fucking machine upside down? Probably from the other machine. Like a pro. <laughs> Sorry, it's together now. If anything happens, uh, it's your fault. So, stop feeling sorry for yourself. I'm not, it's true. Half the time I do. Good. Alright, so now it's everybody knows. Now. Yeah, it's on camera. Yeah, it's going to be on the internet. <laughs> Let it be known. Hell, you say it on camera every day. Alright, so uh, GoPro stop recording. Because we're welding not only wet metal, but uh, <laughs> metal is really dirty. Very good. You don't need to hold it with pliers. I don't think so. I got them in case. Yeah.
brush also after. Just the manual brush. So tack, tack, tack. Well, at least the welding is going well. <laughs> yeah, it's going really fucking yeah. well. Yeah. So. Yo, you, you've got the machines uh, pretty damn. This one's tacked anyway. Put it there. Next one.
waiting room we have you.
Now this weld, it's well, except for that fucking hole. But it should be so much smoother now because of, it's on the outside. Yeah, and there's already little packs and everything. should be a lot easier. It's all rusty to shit. <laughs> but it's already welded on so.
So we got it out. No, um, that's that's the hole that look, was stuck in. This is how far my boot goes down. That's one, where one wheel was. This is where the other wheel was. And it's all ice around. Yeah, look at the difference in the height though. There's one hole and for then, each. Yeah, and then this one. This is all it was, ice. It was, it was the opposite on this one. And uh, everything's wrong. But look, that's our, our setup. <laughs> We just have to get better straps. And we'll get small straps like these ones, but long ones. Yes. And that's, dude, that's the solution. Mm -hmm. And we've got four of these now. Oh, here comes someone. <laughs> so, we haven't yeah. gone to do. Yeah, we have to find a way to undo them now. Yeah. And uh, how far back are we going to park? Because the snow is going to melt again tomorrow. Yeah. That's going to help you. Yeah, and we're gonna hopefully take this out of here because today. Because there, there's ground up here. Yeah, I know. Like down here, it's all like huge blocks of ice. It's all ice. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go forward a tiny bit so I can undo that. Sure. Here, take a GoPro. I've got my knife too if we need. Cool. Yeah, we probably will. Probably gonna have to cut this off. So if these didn't work, our chains, so you can film these. Yeah. Let me try and get this fucking thing out. They're buried for so long. Oh yeah, that's fucking the sledge. Yep. Just cut the yeah. <laughs> nice good sharp knife somebody forgot after they broke up a bus stop. That's in there. Somehow. I don't know how it got in there, but <laughs> sure we'll be able to finagle it out, I hope. There's going to be bumps and starts, I'm sure, but it's going to be bad on the road, but back here, maybe. <laughs> Yo, they dig right the fuck in. I say around here. Can the plow still go? Sorry, I don't want to get yeah. smashed either. Uh, you can come back so another. I could go into the ice, just not the puddle. Yeah, so come back like another foot. What? Yeah. Like that? Yeah. Should be good if you got room in front. And we can still technically take it off if we want. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I can even come back for this. I want to go. No. Fucking throw this back in. Whatever, right? 
Yeah, but all the big pieces we can knock in. Yeah, dude, that's amazing. I fucking five. Yes. Yo, it's, uh, this has been an ordeal and a half. Yeah. We'll listen as much as we can, even though quite a bit of this is salt. But it'll free, it'll water it down, then freeze it up. Throw the traction aids in there, not the hooks. So it digs right the fuck in. Yep. You take out chunks when you so go. Leave them on. Yeah. For now, in case we need them later. Oh, this one's not too bad. Still got some. Uh... Out. I pull. Jesus. We're dealing a half, oh, two days. Well, a day and four or three hours. You got everything from it? Yeah. And I need... You got the key still, eh? Yeah. Cool. It's on my keychain. <laughs> and this is... Back of the area where we store Joe. Not plowed. Yeah. And if it wasn't for the cars here, we could easily park over here. Yeah. That's awesome. It's awesome. And Mr. Tundi. Cause I got the keys this time. Who's important now? 